Hey everyone! In today's tutorial, we're going to create a beautiful sunset spotlight effect using gradients. We'll cover some useful tips and tricks along the way, so we hope you'll learn something new about working with gradients as well. To get started, open up a photo you'll use for this design. Profile photos usually work best for this, but feel free to experiment with any other images you like. Next, we'll create a background for our design using a gradient. To do this, first hide the subject layer so that it doesn't get in the way and create a new empty layer. To create a gradient, you have a couple of options. You could simply choose the gradient fill tool and drag on the canvas. However, this method doesn't let you customize the gradient, so you can't readjust its colors, add more color stops, or rotate the gradient after it's added. Instead, we'll use the Style tool. Simply choose it from the Tools sidebar and click Convert Layer. This will convert the empty layer into a shape, allowing you to non-destructively edit any styles applied to it. We'll do just that. First, in the Fill Type pop-up menu, choose Gradient. Then set its rotation to 90 degrees and pick the two colors you want to blend. You can choose any colors you like or sample them from the images on the web. We used this particular method to create the color palette for this design. Now that our background is ready, it's time to create the spotlight effect itself. First, start by adding a new effects layer from the top of the layer's sidebar. Then, in the effects browser, find and apply the gradient fill effect, and set the gradient type to radial. Now we can start customizing the gradient. For this effect, we'll use three different colors for the middle, base, and the edges of the spotlight. We'll start by setting the first color stop to red. To add additional colors, simply click below the gradient bar. In Radial Gradients, the leftmost color stop represents the center, while the one on the right shows the color of the outer edge of the gradient. You can move the color stops to choose where one color ends and the next begins, or adjust the midpoints to control how smoothly the colors blend together. For the last color stop, we'll choose the brown color which we used for the background earlier, but we'll reduce its opacity to zero, so that our original gradient background remains visible. Finally, we'll slightly adjust the scale of the gradient to fit it nicely on the canvas. And now, it's time to edit the subject. We'll make it darker, creating a subtle backlit effect. To do that, first drag the subject layer to the top of the composition and make it visible again. Then, go to the Mask menu at the top of the layer sidebar and choose Hide Background. This will instantly mask the background behind your subject. Next, duplicate the subject layer and merge the copy. To darken the subject layer, you can simply drag and drop a black color from the color picker in the toolbar. If the color picker is showing different colors, simply press D on your keyboard to quickly reset them. To control the intensity of the shadow, you can adjust the opacity of the layer. We'll set it to 90%. Once you're done editing the subject, you can readjust the position of the gradient if needed using the gradient effect handle. Or, if you'd like to reuse the gradient for future projects, you can save it as a preset. Simply open the gradient collection where you want to save it and click Add. Finally, duplicate the spotlight layer, move it to the top of the composition, and set its blend mode to multiply with 60% opacity. This following step is optional, but as a finishing touch, we'll also add a grain effect to the original spotlight layer. We'll set the grain size to 15 and the intensity to 25%. And our design is all finished. We've created a stunning sunset spotlight effect using simple gradients. This technique is super versatile, so feel free to experiment by adding extra details or tweaking the gradient colors to create entirely different looks and designs. That's it for this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.